Hola Aquarius and welcome to your full moon in Virgo horoscope. So you can get all the tea on what you need to know for that full moon happening Saturday, February 24th. Okay. Now this full moon is going to be a season for you where you are focusing on the dollar, the bills, the cents. Do you feel okay? Pisces season is really about that bag, your finances, your resources, thinking of new ways to be innovative in your field. Now this full moon could feel a little bit emotional for you guys, a little intense, all right? Because this full moon's really about transformation, getting you out your comfort zone. Some of you guys could be hearing full circle around certain like insurance claims that you filed or getting your life insurance together, getting your partner's life insurance together. If you are in a relationship, the person that you are with can also be in their feelings too and projecting that onto you. Now, there are going to be a lot of interesting conversations happening around this full moon where people could be expressing that they're struggling maybe with mental health issues and maybe you're that nourishing person to them. You're feeding them that comfort, that love, that assurance, that baby, don't worry, it's going to be okay. And and if that's not for somebody else, making sure that whatever you're going through right now, you're tending to yourself like, you know what? No, I got this. Okay. I got this. I'm going to be able to give my life a 180 to transform this one area of my life to handle these bureaucratic responsibilities. And you know, it's kind of like RIP to the old me is what Aquarius is feeling. Pisces season though, like I said, is about your money. You could be thinking about new ways to make money, selling old things that you no longer use, getting new credit cards or debit cards, or some of you guys are going to be investing in, uh, you know, pieces that will last you a long time. Okay. It's like quality over quantity, right? Now we have a lot of, uh, intense energy happening for Aquarius because Pluto is right there. And we also have, you know, Mars and Venus together in your sign. So this could be making you a little bit more sexually magnetic and sexually appealing, or just turning you on. You're turning your partners on all of that fun passionate things. But on the flip side, this can also be tension in relationships, anger, aggression, passive aggression. Okay. Two. And so make sure that you are being gentle with yourself. You're being gentle with your partners, not expecting or demanding too much, keeping it fair, keeping it square, not letting the intensity in the air kind of cloud the way that you treat people, right? Because how you treat people also reflects on how you treat yourself. So munch and nibble on that. You guys, we have the death card with the emperor card. So it's like rebirth. Like I said, you guys are going through a rebirth moon in the eighth house. Right. And so death is really about change. And what are you changing? You're changing your, how you show up as an independent person, how you show up as a leader, how you create stability around your finances. Okay. How you create stability in your relationships, ace of cups, or also around your devotion to spirit, to your spirit guides, to your ancestors and your higher self. You guys could also be getting a gift, a financial gift, a gift from a boss, a gift from an elder, someone who is maybe a little bit more established in their life, or you're listening to them and learning. And you're like, they're like, Oh, if I were you, I would do this. If I were you, I would do this. Not that you're taking their play by play and running with it. But a lot of times wisdom is more, um, how would we say experience is more wise than just learning in a book. Okay. Sometimes people who've been around the block can tell you how to get to the end. Okay. So listening to our elders, having those intimate conversations with people who are older and wiser is going to be very beneficial to you guys being open to change, not staying stuck because our, our fixed signs are being called to evolve, to change, and it's going to be in an abundant and blessed way. And for some of you guys, it can be in developing a deeper relationship with your family. Okay. So also if you're interested in our full moon Reiki detox and detach happening on Saturday, secure your spot on my website, big empress energy, LLC.com. Bye.